quintessentially British man Francis Bourgeois has become an absolute legend in meme culture. Never has someone been able to so quickly and swiftly convert millions of people to train lovers, given his genuine enthusiasm and ability to never take himself too seriously. I'm glad I stayed up late for this, this is a treat. He's been posting videos since 2020, but he's quickly risen to an international sensation due to a number of reasons. Perhaps the biggest draw card is his ridiculous face cam, which draws upon tropes commonly expressed through forward-facing camera memes or animals peering too close to the lens. Francis peppers his videos with multiple shots, usually consisting of an initial piece to camera setting up the importance of a particular train, which swiftly transitions to a fisheye-style close-up of his face for maximum reaction integration. In short, his videos become an absurd yet touching masterpiece, utilising humour and good faith to get the viewer interested in a hobby many find extremely dull. Train spotting. Arguably, his absolute piece de resistance is that of spotting the almighty Dickmabut, the recording of which has been clipped and utilised across many different meme formats. Not only has Francis brought joy to those who would watch his videos, but he's also instilled a sense of recognition from train drivers who feel appreciated for their hard work. Plus, he's infiltrated both the weirder parts of the internet as well as the mostly mainstream areas. He's got mass appeal, and hopefully he'll be able to take his ideas to interesting new places as a result. He's already done a collaboration with Arsenal legend Thierry Henry, which just goes to show how fast he's been able to utilise his fame for wider appeal. In that sense, it's hardly surprising the traditional media have picked up on his presence and charisma, slotting him into interviews and airtime. At the moment, Francis is an engineering student, so perhaps in the future we'll see him working on the very trains he loves so much. As for now, it looks like he might be able to fund that degree with income from the joy he spreads regarding the locomotive industry. To be honest, it's just nice seeing something so positive take over meme culture, even for just a little bit, considering the dark news and other themes we've been looking at recently. It's true that if it bleeds, it leads, for the news industry as well as online spaces. So watching a dude just be happy and managing to encapsulate that energy in a way that is entertaining is extremely refreshing. Essentially, Francis Bourgeois has managed to shake up meme culture in a way that we haven't seen for a long time, and in the process he's gotten people to care about something oft thought reserved for old men and small kids. Do yourself a favour, go check him out. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>